Happy Saturday, everybody. I am here um, with the hashtag Satmorn Makes. Just, I think you all know, I'm a slow crafter, so I did not make this this morning. This was an all-week project. Yesterday, though, um, before I'm going to do my creative time, her uh, Emma's newest release, which is Tea Time. But before I share those... I'm going to share her. I bought these gnomes, and I think I had mentioned I wanted to touch them up a bit, and so I did. And I had a hard time finding a yellow paint that I owned that would cover the smudges and the little imperfections. Paint pens. And I can't find the box of them, but they're Arteza paint pens. They're the fine line. I might get the broad tip next. Worked great, and I had good control of it. I liked the paint, and so I was able to highlight some things with some white there's his little beard, just kind of where things were slopping over from black to yellow or yellow to black. I kind of just touched it up, and um, yeah, so there you can do that. When you get these and you want to, you know, usually now the black I could have done probably any black paint, but the yellow I just had a hard time. I was going to go buy yellow chalk paint, and I thought, no, come on, try the paint pens. All of a sudden I remembered I had those. So, and it worked. <clears throat> so there's that guy. Then there's this cutie patootie that has the daisy. And I just went into their beard with some white because they had some weird stuff going on there. And then here he's holding a little honey pot. I want to add some gold to the honey or something so it stands out. So I'll do that. But yeah, you just kind of take it and get rid of the bloopers, right? And now they're ready for my tear tray. Drinking out of my grandma cup this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cheers. We had a drinking game a long time ago. We started when I say tear trick. Anyway, this one I'm not really sure. Is this a honey pot? I don't know. And what's the silver spoon? I don't know. I guess it's probably honey inside there. But I did take a different brown because this was all this brown. And I wanted it, this part to show up better. So I did that. Did the highlighting. And just colored up any imperfections so when you get these now I have ones that they come out with every year that I just painted spray painted and they're one color and they look really kind of high-end a high-end gnome is there such a thing as a high-end gnome probably not okay anyway my creative time oh my gosh I am in love Emma you hit it out of the park now I'm not a tea drinker I'm a coffee girl but I still Oh my gosh, it comes with such pretty, pretty dyes. Um, let's see here. So this is the first one, and I, I scrap lifted or copied, craft lifted her ideas from her blog. And these little hearts, that's a die in there. There's a doily die. Then you get the teapot and the cup stamp and matching dies. And then I did, it says, hello friend, and this is a small doily die. So here they are. Go on her site. They're all up there. Islet doily die. I am in love. They come in three different sizes. They're so pretty. So you get this size, the big one, the mamba jamba of it. And look at that eyelet on it. Oh my gosh. So this one measures just three and three quarters diameter. My head's big and it can see me. <laughs> anyway, and then I cut out the center. It comes with this perforated piece, so I cut the center out and used the other side so it was gave a darker color. So this is all from her. And then this here underneath, I just trimmed. Oh, here's the other size. I get so, I'm all over the map. It's three inch is the middle size doily. So it comes with a perforated line, um, or stitched line, I guess. But And then the, the baby is one and three quarters. Cute, cute. So that's what I did, and then I just did Hello Friend from the stamp set on there. Then it comes with the daisy dies. Oh, and frickin' gee, so cute. Sorry. My creative time, if you ever want some great sets, she's got it. So if you're watching, Emma, you did good. 
So then there's this daisy die. Here it is. And it comes with all these different pieces. Sorry for, it's just a mess in here because I've, I've been using them. And, uh, but the border here or this strip, I just used this background die and did it this way and cut it. So I used it as a border. Eyelet cover die. And then the daisy. In the daisy, I did in white, and then I used, I think it was this, yeah, saltwater taffy to color it with. And then a pearl in the middle, a yellow pearl. Isn't that cute? And I just love the little hearts. Looks like it's pouring into the teacup. Pour in love, right? Hello, friend. So that's my first one. And then she also has her paper set, the main one. There are coordinating die cuts that go with the dies, if that makes, or die, let's see. I'm oh, not making any sense, am I? <laughs> but I never do. <laughs> anyway, you can cut these little guys out with the dies that come. I'm not doing a very good job of, go to her site. You get the stamps and the dies, and these dies match the paper is what I'm trying to say. So I cut out the teacups again, not my own idea, and then just put a slit in there. I should have cut it the slit at the edge of rather because otherwise somebody's slopping around the tea, right? I didn't think of that till after. I had a bow die in my stash, so I used that. This was pink paper, and I just took some pink distress sorry oxides. This is paper, and this is paper from her release. So fun. This is... Yeah, so this is the paper. And they're all double-sided, good cardstock. Not as shiny as it was before, at least on that one. And then this is also paper from her, her set. So pretty. I'm just, the doily die is to die, is to die for. Doily die, die for, yeah, I know, corny. Okay, then I made, and I have one more. I, want, I haven't done anything with this one yet, the teacup. But I did work on one on the teapot. Here it is. Oh, gosh, see, I need to be better about putting these in. It's better I'm losing pieces of flipping out of here. The tea kettle. <clears throat> I lift my fingers up even to. Okay, there we go. And this is called tea kettle dies. That makes sense. So you get all these pieces, and again, they're all over the place because I used them. And I did the doily die again. And this paper is not from Emma's My Creative Time, it was in my bin of scraps. I put together the eyelet background with the blue and then blue again from Stampin' Up! And then you cut out all these different pieces to build your teapot. And then I have this lace. There's another one of the da daisies. This lace I got at that shop last week when I was with my kids that I shared. And I thought, oh, that's going to be perfect. So what I did is I just have... I even use the garbage. This is the blue I used. I cut some buttons I'll show in a minute, but it goes across, so I just trimmed it. It's going so it looks like it's on top of ribbon, right? And it matches that. It made it stand out. Otherwise, it was just blending in. And then I did a little daisy just in white. I didn't color it or anything. And then one of the... So you get all these different centers, and I love them because they're not perfect circles. They're a little wonky like in nature for a daisy. Cute. I am just in love. Hello, friend. Now, I will say, and it maybe somebody help me. I, am I love your stuff, but I'm a little not that good at matching up. So here's, you get the dies to go with the words, and I'm struggling to figure out, oh gosh. So I wasn't sure. Does this one go with hello, friend? I couldn't figure it out last night, so I just... If there's a way to label maybe or something because I 
I look at this and go, mm, I don't know. So I just fussy cut it. So that one I can kind of tell, but I don't know. Anyway, that's my only struggle, and that's probably a personal issue. It's probably, if you know, uh, have an idea of how I could do that better, anybody out there, because I love cutting them. I'm fine with fussy cutting them, but here I have these dies. How do I know what goes with what? Should I cut it? One thought I had was cut it out first, right? Die cut it first, and then see what word it goes with I don't know so let me know because I'm struggling with that part of it but anyway that's the only thing I'm kind of struggling with there so those are my three cards that I have made using Emma's my creative time I love the set I don't mean to say that that was a issue that would keep me from buying her sets not at all but that's just something I kind of struggled with. So if somebody knows, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Mm, just love it. My mom had a tea and coffee set from Germany that was really pretty. I think my sister has it now, but so sweet. Kind of reminds me of that. And gingham or eyelet was, not gingham, but eyelet was a really big deal. At least for my mom, she loved eyelet stuff. Our home, our wallpaper, we had a lot of wall, different wallpapers, and Eyelet was in my bedroom. So maybe that's why I'm like, oh, I love it. See, look at this. Isn't that cute? And it all comes in the different color waves. So, ways, I guess. A wave, ways. I try to sound professional. <laughs> anyway, this is the main one. This is the tea time, and then this is the Eyelet Gingham and Solid goes with tea time. So check out, I'll leave a link to My Creative Times shop. I'm sure you're all familiar with her. She is awesome. And I have just had so much fun making my little mix here. All right, guys, have a great Saturday. Margaret's coming. Roxanne was unable to make it today. So Margaret and I will be crafting. I'll have things to share from that. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.